blessed day, my people. So, of course, you don't know about the situation that happened about two days ago with Bujubantan daughter Abigail Myrie and Bujubantan alleged woman, Zine, named Tasha. You know, see them go back and forth on Twitter, Zine. And if you know, miss that, I go kind of get you know, up to speed on what's going on. Now, you know, say Bujubantan put out the no mask video where him say him now wear no mask. Of course, you know, see everybody react to it. Even the Minister of Health react to it, Christopher Tufton. And now we see um, some artists are look out on him, like Mr. V. Vegas and also Muta Baruka are one of the persons that were kind of born out Bujubantan in certain ways. You see me? He's not really born him out, but he is not with what Bujubantan is with. Now, anyway, Dr. Love come now and he address two parts. Dr. Love address what Bujubantan is saying and also he may address the whole situation between Bujubantan and Dr. Abbey Hill and him woman. Now, of course, to be honest, he made a few good points and he even said, how oh, the daughter knows certain things about the woman. It looks like Bujubantan confide in him daughter and the girl come and she talk out certain things which might be true because me I tell us the daughter came out swinging and she exposed certain things as me she got as far as we say the woman did an abortion zin and obviously people this is just alleged because none of us know if what she's saying is true because at the end of the day when two females are argue it is their aim to say the more derogative or degrading thing to each other. You see me? You were supposed to make the other person feel as low as possible and vice versa. Now, Tasha came out and she also put out another post basically apologizing to her family and friends and stuff like that, which I soon showed her that post. You see me? Before we get into all of that, I'm going to play what Dr. Love had to say about the daughter and the woman argue on social media. So listen to what I say. But you see, as far as the daughter and the side girl allegedly or whatever it is and so forth, both of them will conduct themselves better than that. You know, you have to conduct yourself better than that and understand, say, you know, business, you know, nothing to do with the public and so forth or whatever. You and your father and him side girl go through her if she wants to spend out her money and so forth. But then again, some of these women must understand themselves because you can't meet an entertainer and get up and spend out your hard money because you want a position. Position where someone will never get. You know what I mean? And, 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 and it, it doesn't look good and so forth for it to even reach this part for the data. And how did the data get all of this if she cannot dash out your business out of the out of Because you, you, you lower yourself lower. Mm. Your you standard lower. You see what I say? So these are the farmer things that happen and then cut out them something there. I always want to pick that disrespect him in the public. I mean, you know when, if him feel good about it or whatever it is. But me as, as, as a person on the outside and so forth, it don't look good and so forth. It just look like a loose family, a careless family to me. And father involved Pitney sometime in their relationship and sit down and chat to them Pitney about their whole relationship then get to come take you and turn you and throw it in your face and make you look like a fool and so forth certain situations should even discuss because if it never discussed by the father the daughter would not have to come talk about it or I wouldn't know about it you know what I mean if the woman never tell the daughter somebody tell somebody something you know what I mean somebody can find somebody that becomes a public business and so forth and sometimes we have to keep on thing different and so forth because when, 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 when regular people dash it out it's okay even though it's not it don't supposed to happen but when you're one picnic or embarrassing in the public and so forth not a good look and so forth you know what I mean but it's a family I need therapy they need counseling too much problem too much broken heart and and, and, and loving this a family because the last time was in son now and daughter who next it always some form of situation like this all right so only here exactly what dr love officer do you actually agree with him and do you feel like say, Buju did confide in him daughter and tell her certain things that's the reason why she could have said certain things about the woman and also mrs some persons of course Buju has said oh him for those did they make the woman a disrespect him child like that and people who have to understand say who don't know what's going on in the people in my household so who don't know if Buju talk to him daughter personally about the whole situation so sometimes we have to take a chill pill and just make things be as it is. You understand what I say? Even though they are public figures, so you know, of course, the public are going to give them opinion upon it. Everybody are going to talk about it, and it's just going to be something that's trending for a while. You see me? Just like when Buju come out and say what him say about the mass situation, it was trending on Twitter, on YouTube. It did a trend everywhere in the world. Well, not in the world, but it did a trend everywhere. Um, where Buju is recognized certain way. Anyway, people, I'm going to get to what the woman posted on social media after this whole situation happened between her and Buju Bantan daughter. So she said, I must apologize to my friends and family for even participating in that brawl. Those who really know me know that my personal life is private. I could sue her for slander, but that would be an exercise in futility. And I guess when she said uh, exercise in futility, 
um, she probably means that that would be useless or that would really make no sense for do that. You see me? That's what I get from it. But correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong. Now, anyways, when you think about this whole situation, I'm kind of glad say, at least she come out and apologize to her friends and family. Now, I don't really see Buju Bantan daughter come out and make a public apology. You know, she seems like she's very upset. And she have all right to be because the woman did call her mother name. So, you know, me that vex too. Me have to put myself in a fair shoes. I would be upset as well. You can talk about my friends. You can talk about my sister. Talk about my auntie, my uncle. But you see, when you call my mother name, that kind of got touch a car in a certain way. You understand, people? But anyway, let's move on to the other part of the video. Now, of course, you don't know where it starts from, which is the whole mass thing. Now, Dr. Love also said that Bujo Bantan, if he was in prison, same way, he would have affair with a wear mask. So when him come out and talk about him now wearing a mask and this and that, it's like him try to style the Jamaican government. Now, I'm going to play that voice note so you can hear exactly what Dr. Love have to say about this. As my people, and I want to leave some comments and tell me if you agree or not. So listen this. What I think, though, we have to look into, right? When Bujo was incarcerated, if he was still incarcerated during this time, he made have to wear a mask and have no choice. He could not talk about freeing up people and this and that because guess what happened? We in a Babylon system, I guess, as he want to say. But he may have to wear a mask. He can decline say, now we're in a mask. It's mandatory to him have to wear it. So why at the end of the day, he will respect other places, I guess, because he never have a choice. But he now have to respect whatever theme government say. He must have to respect that at the end of the day because enough of will go out and... and, and um, Deal with some other people and treat some other people better than our own. You understand what I'm saying? So the rules goes in Jamaica as the rules as we follow the rules in other country. So the literacy with not wearing any mask and encouraging people because it's pretty much encouraging people not to wear any mask and so forth. The ignorance of how some of us can be sometimes. And not only that too. The, when they smoke too much bush weed then come out and then chat talk and a fart. I mean, no, then look within themselves at some point and say, you know, so I make a statement where I shouldn't make a that never right and whatever it is. But them not gonna be man enough to come back out and make a bold statement to say they make a mistake because they want people. Them no, they want people feel like say, them no make no mistake and them live by whatever them say. Them will do better than that, especially we as public figure, where people look up to. We have to know what we are saying and how we are doing things. Sometimes I may wonder if I say some things, yes. But well, some things you must say, I know what to say, I know to say. Because you don't want to mislead the people. The eh? best thing you can do is encourage the people to eh? say, so, listen, wear the mask, no vaccine. That would be a better statement. You know what I mean? Wear the mask, no vaccine. That, that would be more supported. A lot of people would support you know, and give them a lot of credit for that, of encouraging that. You know what I mean? But no, they want to be ignorant. Then we stay by bush weed, man. Alright, so of course, me see on the internet, all the people have said them agree with Bojo Bantan, but for the majority of people, them, they are disagreeing with him, you see me? Even a lot of the artists, them, like me say, come out and I say, look, Bojo, you're wrong, you're wrong up for telling the people them that. It's like you try to jeopardize people, you see me? And even though Bojo Bantan did not come out and say, yo, you know for wearing a mask and you know for wearing a mask. But of course, when you tell people, say you not go wear it, you got to have some people who are follow you. So that them a look pan, you see me? Maybe if it was just a regular man like me come out and say that, then people would have just cussed me and it would be all forgotten about. But when you are an international top, top, top superstar, because Buju not just a normal person, you know. Buju a big man, you know. Buju a big man in the business, you know, people, you see it? So I forgive him, him respect. Because you don't know, say, he might make a one and few mistakes in his lifetime, but that doesn't take away from the greatness we him do in our music, as my people. But anyway, as I say, we're anything about this, we're anything about what Dr. Love is saying, say, if Buju did their jail or prison, I should have said, he would have affair with a mask and him couldn't do nothing about it. You feel like Buju has styled the Jamaican government, or you feel like he genuinely doesn't like the whole mask thing, as me? Because some people say it might be a political thing. I don't really know, you see me? They must say, Buju might not rate the party that is in power. 
him more go with the other side. But me just tell you know what people are saying. You know, I don't really know. Me not really mix up in our politics and them things. You see me? But anyway, people, leave in the comments and make me know what you think about this. And I also want to talk about a foundation that Dr. Love started named the MCCS Barefoot Foundation. He started through his music label. You see me? Because I have a music label right now. So yeah, people, he have a little foundation. He have do a little charity. You see me? And basically, he have give back to some um, school. He have give back to a school where he come from, which is in St. Catherine, and I also give back to the kids them as well, you see me? And the name of the school is Ludias Vale All Age. So yeah, people, I'm going to play the clip now so you can hear exactly what Dr. Love have to say. So check this out. Well, Massive, you don't know about Dr. Love, you know. Right now, I'm asking the public for assistance of supporting my foundation, MCCS Barefoot Foundation. I am raising used tablet, used phone, used laptop, if you can purchase a phone, maybe an Amazon that is internet friendly, Google or whatever it is and so forth. For, you know, maybe 150 or $60. You can also purchase it and you can send it to me to my P.O. box. If you also want to donate, you can also donate to my PayPal or to my Square Cash, to my Cash App. My phone number is 973-342-2487. And you can also donate to my PayPal, which is Dr. Love Music 1085 at gmail.com. If you want to mail a phone, if you have a used phone and it's in good condition or a used tablet or whatever it is, you can also mail it to my P.O. box. I am raising it to donate to my community in St. Catherine. And it will be going directly to the principal and so forth. These device that I got from you guys is not going to just give to a kid like that and so forth. They're going to have to sign a contract because it's a loan device. And if they're not using the device, we are, we should have able can take the device back. I asked the police to take the device back and so forth or the principal and give it to a kid that is in need of it. This device, they cannot download any, any Facebook, any Instagram and none of those things. And it is for schoolwork and schoolwork only. And while school is in session and so forth, the principal or the teacher is allowed to can pop up at your at your location and so forth. And see if you're doing your work. Um, cause when you give people, when you give, um, a lot of people things, they use it and do whatever they want to do. And I'm not trying to run that form of, um, foundation. You know what I mean? I want to help, but at the same time, you know, people have to also help themselves and use the thing for what it's supposed to use. To. So if you want to send something to my P.O. box, the P.O. box, my name is Christopher Crooks. P.O. box is 282 South Orange, New Jersey. 282 Christopher Crooks 282 South Orange New Jersey you can mail your your used phone or your new phone whatever it is tablet and so forth I am staying away from Apple products if I don't have to get an Apple products or so forth I greatly appreciate it because I don't want any problem when it reaches Jamaica and so forth I am in dialogue with um, people from Flo that we will also put the service on the phone so we are giving your phone and give it the service that you can do your schoolwork until further notice of what the government plan to do so, you know, please support everyone and so forth. If you can buy a phone and you can give a 5 or $10 and so forth, then do so. You know, I'm staying away from raising money and so forth because sometimes you may not raise enough money to do what you want to do. So I'm looking for the device. Uh, use phone, new phone, use tablet, use iPad, use laptop, new laptop and so forth that you're not using that are in good condition. And also, if you have a use for, if you, you use device you have, you can factory set it and get rid of all the information on it. Also, when I get the device, we will also, me and my team will also factory set it to make sure that none of your information that left on the phone will be given to any of these kids and so forth. Big up on yourself. My number is 973-342-2487. Or you can check out my fan page, which is Real Doctor Love Music on Facebook. Um, MCCS Music Label on Instagram. Big up on yourself. Doctor Love to the world. Yeah, man, people. So, I know some definitely did have to highlight this because at the end of the day, Dr. Lover did something good. I want to really see much artists now I give back, you know, because of the whole COVID thing, you know, but Dr. Love still a try regardless. I may have to give major props for that. So, you can contact him if you don't have any questions on his Instagram page, MCCS Record Label, or on his Facebook page at The Real Dr. Love Music. And hopefully this turn out good for him and him can continue to give back every year or every couple of months, however him can do it. Because right now with the online schooling, you know, no, say, I, I saw the thing I forgot right now, you see me? Enough kids are get left behind because they don't have the proper things where they need. Even though we say the government said they might chip in and think, but 
you know, these kids, them need it now, basically. So if somebody willing for help, and you don't know, say, I'm going to need the assistance of persons who can donate, then why not? But yeah, people, leave in the comments and let me know when you think about this. And just bless up on yourself, you know, keep safe. I'm out.